So, sorry I've neglected the channel a little bit recently. I've been kind of busy with a lot of other work, to be honest with you. Um, but I've kind of decided to make an impromptu trip out this morning. Um, what I've actually decided to do is come down to a local woods and photograph some grey squirrels. Um, this place is actually quite... Uh, quite populated with them to be honest with you and they're fairly I wouldn't say tame but they are actually um, used to a lot of people coming down because it's quite a popular dog walking spot as well um, but yeah it's quite early in the morning I say it was very impromptu hence why I haven't had a shave and I've also forgot my mic as well so the sound quality is a little bit rubbish so I do apologize but I'm gonna get a regular one and go find me some squirrels so actually quite a lot of activity down this area um, as it's quite common actually now what I've done is just on the base of that tree I've just put some peanuts down not too many you've got to be really careful with feeding squirrels with peanuts because they go moldy really quickly and obviously with them hiding away um, all their food for the winter You've got to be so so careful so I've only put a few down now they know I'm here they've actually been down and checked me out but none have actually come down for the food now there is a lot of harsh uh, sunlight sort of coming in from this side as well which is why I've put them at the base of this tree and I'm sat where I am right now And they've been wandering around and they've been watching me but none of them have taken the bait for want of a better phrase um, which is a real shame so I think it's just patience you can probably see some movement in the background as well around there I've had some come over to this tree here as well yeah there's actually one just down the back that's watching me at the moment as I'm talking to you guys so there he goes, he's just running off down the back, just down there. So I don't know how successful this is going to be, I say there's a lot of activity. But I need, need them to come a bit closer. Um, there's three just playing over there as well. So, fingers crossed, um, we'll actually have a bit of a success. Now, another thing I wanted to mention as well these new bad boys so while I was obviously busy and doing the other work and stuff what I actually did was I invested in some photography gloves um, they're by a company called easy off um, and what they've actually got is I'll just uh, show you on this hand you can actually pull just these two fingers off now these gloves have been fantastic so far today because it is quite chilly it's only about two degrees but it is quite still so um, but what they have got as well, if I just come down, as you can see, they've got the grip. I'm sorry about focus, there we go. So they've got the grips on the palm as well, as well as those two pop-off fingers you can see. So it does actually make them really handy for photography. I know they've had rave reviews before, and they're only about 20 quid off Amazon. So I thought I'd invest in some, and yeah, so far so good. So... <sighs> can see me making uh, a few more trips out while wearing these to be honest with you but right now I'm just gonna sit and wait for those squirrels to come around again because it all seems to have gone a bit quiet over here now when it was busy a minute ago right we'll see but keep your eyes peeled and we'll see what we can actually get today Just threw some down there for him. You see what I mean by they're quite tame, to be honest with you. Yeah, he's off now. He's just gonna have his uh, 
picked up his nut and gone. It has given me an opportunity to actually finally grab some photos of some squirrels. Um, hey, little buddy. Right, I'm going to have to put this down and start taking some pictures because he is really close. to about here-ish to be honest um, <clears throat> which is great because I've only got the 70 to 200 lens mounted at the moment um, I have got it on the 7D Mark II as well because the high shooting frame rate um, will really help with something like this I'm not someone who likes to machine gun shots but with squirrels being so erratic you've got to take small bursts of three four shots um, to freeze the movement now the sun keeps going in and out which is making it difficult to keep my shutter speed quite high um, yeah I'm shooting on ISO 400 as well but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna call it a day at this spot from being a real hive of activity with the squirrels they seem to have moved on to the different location as well and the sun's just moving on as well you can see it's obviously starting to light up these beautiful trees at the back and there's a few squirrels over there but there is an area where they they often congregate people do put a lot of seed down for them on this old tree stump now I walked past it on the way to this spot and I actually put some seeds and, and nuts down for them so I'm gonna have a wander back over that way and see if it's encouraged them to come out because I didn't see a single one and I was actually worried at that point that we wouldn't actually see any squirrels today and just as I say that there's one just coming down my left hand side now he's watching me come on little buddy Shake the bag of peanuts. That's got the interest of a couple that just appeared. He's cautious. He's having a wash. There's one just down the background, just down there as well, who's having a rummage around. I'll see if I can turn you to see him. He's just at the base of this tree. Here he goes. He's just moving along there. You can see him. Don't know if he's gonna. Right, I'm gonna put this down and get my other camera back up. guys I'm in the car on the way back home um, the second spot that I'd actually put all the food down I got there 
and just as I was trying to find the right spot, loads of dog walkers turned up um, and scared all the squirrels away. So, yeah, it's a public woods, it happens. But it's a shame, but at least the squirrels got some food. So, um, I would call that a very successful morning, to be honest with you. Um, I did actually, in the first spot that, uh, that we visited, we did actually get quite a few decent pictures that I've seen on the back of the camera anyway. The problem that I've had, as you might see now, is this really bright sunshine. Um, caused a lot of really harsh shadows um, and made everything really contrasty. I could have done with um, an overcast morning, to be honest with you, rather than the bright sun, but I also wanted some of the vibrancy and the colours of the trees and, and the leaves that are still on the floor and stuff. So, yeah, a bit of a shame, but it's, you know, it is what it is. I have actually managed to get some decent pictures, which hopefully you guys will see. So, uh, I do just want to say as well, obviously, um, something a little bit different from me. We have got some more stuff planned. We're fast approaching 2022 now. Um, sorry, I got the sniffles as well, because it's really cold this morning. Um, have to say, I was really pleased with the Easy On gloves. Um, oh, easy off gloves, I should actually call them. Yeah, they were really good. Um, I'll probably do a full product review of those another time, but this is the first time they've been out, so if I get a chance to actually field test them a little bit more, I will do. Um, but yeah, obviously, if you've liked the video, do give us one of the old thumbs up. Um, drop us a subscribe from down the bottom as well. And this is Mike, out. Peace.